wish to create a perfect human being, selecting the best organs from different corpses. Greetings, mortals, it is I, Shadow Blackheart, also known as the Dark King. And today, I would like to welcome you all to my castle. That's right, my castle. <laughs> Alright, without further ado, guys, I am going to welcome you into my humble home. Because I want to tell you a story. Please, come on in. Welcome, welcome in, welcome. Alright, this story is about this guy right here. That's right, folks. This guy. This story, and uh, just so you guys know, I hope you all know about the Vanoss crew and Dahi Denoglu. This is going to be one of those stories. But it's not a poop story. It just happened when I was in the bathroom late at night. <laughs> I have talked about this uh, story before in my interview with Sean on the second episode of the Hellish Interviews. Second episode. Um, this picture here was illustrated by my friend Logan. Good, uh, awesome, really awesome dude. I told him to, or I, I should say, I paid him to. Uh, Make this character, not make this character, sorry. Draw this char uh, creature for me. I remember this creature like it was yesterday, but this was an encounter I had as a child. I showed this picture to my friend uh, Vito, and he freaked out when he saw it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that folks, I'm I'm drinking coffee. But without further ado, I would like to tell you the story. As a kid, I was no older than the age I believe of six or seven. But um <laughs> I was no older than the age of like six or seven, but this was a long time ago. This was a long time ago. I'm 24 now, and it's hard to tell this story considering how weird it was, but in the eyes of a child, you would think that this is something extraordinary, and for me, this felt really weird, but it also felt super, super real. For, but from the eyes of an adult, looking back at it, you would think that it's some kid's overactive imagination when for me this honestly felt real it didn't feel like it was some kind of imagination so this was late last night and I had to use a restroom I don't know why I did this but I left the door open because I don't know why I did it was just something I did without a second thought but um, as I was getting ready to get up and leave uh, do my thing and go back to bed this creature appeared waving its hand at me at first I saw nothing but its hand honestly I had a lot of thoughts going through my mind, and I thought this was like my older brother, like trying to scare me. 
I mean, because back then, my brother and I, I wouldn't say we fought a lot, but my brother and I, we were just that kind of pair. Um, I thought my brother was trying to scare me. Lo and behold, he did not. But, <laughs> um, as I was getting ready to leave, this creature appeared. I waved back at it. I don't know why I did. Again, this was all without second thought, but it was a mistake on my part, considering back then I, I never knew that my house was haunted. Um, I mean, I've noticed a couple of lights flickering here and there, but now knowing that my house was haunted, because I didn't think that it was back then, I remember telling my uh, mother and my sister about this uh, creature, and that's when they told me it, the house was a little haunted, and I had no idea at the time. I really had no idea. And <laughs> so after I waved back, it pulled its hand away from behind the door frame and stepped into full view where I saw this uh, creature. And like I said, this is pretty close to what it looked uh, looked like. I remember seeing it like enveloped in shadows but it had a body shape that I could uh, figure out just a little bit with a animal like lower half I can remember if it was like a goat or ram or whatever but I do remember seeing its one red glowing eye and its twisted grin and <laughs> I had no thought no fear to what I was thinking when I first saw this thing and <laughs> like I said I had no like fear no thought as to what could happen once I met this thing but I could not tell what was it was gonna do until I moved so when I moved my left hand, it moved its right hand. So it was basically mirroring my movements. I couldn't figure out why. I just moved around and this creature did the same thing. Looking back at it now, I had this realization as a child. And this was one hell of a realization to think that this was my future self or my uh, self when I'm dead but nonetheless it, it was a it was a thought don't know why that was a thing but it was a thought but I remember when I was walking toward the uh, bathroom entrance it backed up and phase through the door of the basement uh, the basement door um, as if it was like I said mirroring my movements it really was I backed up testing it and seeing what it would do and my back was against the wall the uh, window to the bathroom was above me and I remember seeing it reappear facing through the, uh, the basement door. And uh, as I laid my back up against the wall, the creature just stood there again at the entrance of the bathroom. It never stepped foot inside the bathroom at all. But looking back at it now, it it was it was freaky enough to I didn't know how everybody would react when I told this story because I didn't want people thinking that I was crazy or anything of the sort to where I feel like I needed help 
because I didn't need help. I just remember seeing this thing and it threw me, it threw me for a loop. But uh, going back, I remember I was doing all these things, moving a certain type of way for at least 10, 15, maybe, uh, yeah, about 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes. I stayed in that bathroom, moving around as it was doing the same, copying my movements. But I remember just getting bored to the point to where I just wanted to head back to bed and I just walked out again no fear no nothing and it was the last I've ever seen of this creature and I just went back to bed like I said I didn't know if my eyes were playing tricks on me or not but this felt so real so real up to a point to where I dreamt of this creature again about a couple weeks back and it's got, I gotta say it's been about maybe what not even I would say 13 12 13 years like I said I don't remember I'm 24 now this happened when I was like six or seven but <laughs> I would say I would thank this creature for the uh, for what I have now considering I've always wanted to be a YouTuber but um, I didn't think of the theme I would give it until um, I remember meeting this creature I thought, you know what, maybe I'll make my um, channel demonic themed. And so I had the thought of being the king of hell. And not to mention, uh, for those who play games with me and they notice when I get a cold chill, something bad happens or um, whatever, like I get a cold chill. Like, if something around me is going to happen, like something bad, like if I'm playing a game with friends or like uh, some teammates, I try to warn them about uh, my cold chill. And usually I'm right about what happens. I just can never tell if it's going to happen to me or somebody I'm talking to or whatever else. But this usually happens when I'm playing a game. It's like developing a sixth sense. You know, it's like developing a sixth sense, and that's basically what I had. It wasn't uh, all that bad. I mean, I do love the fact that I have the sixth sense, so I know what to expect, or I don't know what to expect, but I know uh, what's uh, if it's coming or not. But it was a weird experience that I know I will never forget. I honestly thought about posting this or making this video uh, sometime in October. This would have made a, a better story for Halloween. But with my ass being dumb, lazy, or busy, I had a lot going on that I just didn't think about making this uh, story video, uh, the story time video until now. And like I said, it was hard enough to think, or not think, it was hard enough to come out with a story. It was easy enough to talk about it with my friend Sean in my second interview video with him. But that was just everything that just happened um, in the story within lesser detail. This story, all on its own, uh, all in its own video, was 
I would say, you know, just in better, greater detail, um, it still boggles the mind until now, knowing that meeting this creature has done a lot for me, or a lot to me, I can't say for certain. But it's an experience I know I will never forget. Ever. I still have dreams about it every now and then, but like I said, I haven't dreamt or thought about this thing in years. And it's ha it's uh, it came back up again, what, two, three weeks later, um, or I should say two, three weeks, uh, two, three weeks ago. And I haven't thought about this in years. I put it out of my mind because I was just trying to live my best life. And now thinking about it again, I don't know why it came to me. Of everything that's happened, I don't know why it came to me. But I guess you could say if it didn't, my channel wouldn't be the way it is now. Or even um, having my quote unquote sixth sense for uh, sensing danger, basically. Or just an uneasy feeling. But. <laughs> Like I said, it, it's weird on its own. It really is. I never thought in a million years as a child that I would meet this thing. And yet it happens. It was weird. And I felt like if I told this sooner to my family I don't know if they would have taken it seriously or uh, thought I would need some kind of help so I mostly kept quiet about it and now I'm I'm ready to talk about it that's why I'm making this video <laughs> but it's been years it's been years and I'm finally glad I got this off, off my chest. Because if not now, then when? I'm just finally glad to share my story with this, uh, with all of you. And <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll see it again. Maybe I won't, but something tells me that it's not the last I have ever seen of this creature. But I don't know. I can't tell the future. <laughs> I can't tell the future. So guys... If you enjoyed my little story and you want to see more of me playing video games or where I'll fail and die, blah, blah, blah make sure you guys burn the, sorry, I can't, <laughs> burn the hell that like button, comment down below what you think of the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to become part of the demonic army. And as always, stay loyal my underlings. <laughs>